So we already introduced the vac cam. This is a video of us using it and getting it done. We have a swimming pool here. We have return lines, one, two, and three. We know we have a leak because we had a static pull when we were actually testing them. We're going to plug two of these returns. After we plug them, we're gonna send our camera down in, hook up our vac system, and we're gonna show you how we get it done. So we walk up on a pool, we break out our equipment. Here we're using the inch and a half handheld video pro. We take out our cam vac system. And now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go in from the furthest return from the equipment and the other two, we're just gonna open up and we're gonna put in threaded plugs. We don't have to glue. We actually don't even need any Teflon because we're using vacuum now, not pressure. Remember, it's totally different. Again, it should be sealed tight, but it doesn't need to be that tight. Next thing we're gonna do is install our standpipe. We're gonna set our cam vac on the top. We're gonna set it in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flood the line. We're gonna fill it with water. Again, because it's leaking, it, we don't want it to drop too much. Then we're gonna hook up our vacuum pump. Again, this is controlled vacuum. We're gonna shut the valve over at the equipment and now we have it isolated. So now we're gonna set our camera all the way in as far back as we can. Once we get it in, we're gonna put in our stopper and what that does is it allows air not to pull in while you're doing your test. Here, we're still going in a little bit, getting past this 90 right here and now we're gonna do our test. So we're actually gonna pull it and we're gonna be looking. Here's where you'll see the air. Again, we'll speed it up a little bit for you. Notice our vacuum gauge to see where we're at. We always want to keep it low. Remember, anything over zero is creating vacuum. So here's the vacuum. Here's the leak. We're 10 meters in. Measure it out. We're on our leak. So that's how we use the vac cam. Again, ininvasive. We don't cut pipe. We shut valves. We plug lines. Um, no gluing necessary. We're able to get this done being ininvasive and right on point. For more information, Visit the YouTube channel and check out leaktronics.com.